Hey everyone, this is Deja Vu with another video on IRC and we'll have a closer look at how to customize an IRC client basically going from this kind of uh, default view to something that looks a bit more like Twitch with the colored names and the names in bold I also recently switched from like a white background with uh, dark text to a dark background with lighter text uh, because of the contrast because normally I have my uh, chat on my secondary monitor so it is a bit further away from me and this allows me to um, still read it from a bigger distance and if time permits I will also show you how to create these buttons here which are commands basically and they are specifically for twits so like mod on mod timeout, ban, unban, uh, put the chat into uh, sub-only mode or in slow mode and when you right click a user you can have custom commands there as well basically these are the same commands that are available in the buttons but I can access them through a right click so I can right click any user here and perform a command if time permits we'll have a look at that before we dive in, note that I'm using two different IRC clients, one being HexChat here on the left, the other one being YChat on the right, and they're basically like 99% the same. Meaning that if something can be done in one, it can probably be done in the other as well. Okay, so let's get going. First, um, connect to Twitch as Deja Bot in uh, Y chat I'm connected as Deja Vu. So click on connect. I'm now connected and it has automatically opened the Deja Bot channel for me because that is how I have it configured. If I now want to join another channel, the command for that is forward slash join space followed by a hashtag and then followed by the name of the channel how wish to join in this case deja vu and then click enter as you can see i'm now connected to deja vu and i'll also connect to the channel here is my game and i'm going to do that by using one of my own tools which is the twitch multi-stream viewer and i'll show you how you can easily connect to the channel with that if i click on watch channel the video window has a button there that says irc you simply click on it close that again and I can now paste that in here and it has the command for me so all I have to do now is enter and I have just joined Smite King and we'll start off with some easy changes go into view then topic bar we don't want to see that view channel switcher I want to use tabs instead of the tree and we're already a bit closer to what YChat looks like and then there's another one that says network meters I don't want that so that gets rid of the bottom meters over there now for those of you using HexChat HexChat comes with a theme manager at least if you selected it during the install I did not I installed a minimal uh, version of HexChat so I do not have the theme manager also YChat does not have a theme manager so I that's also why I didn't bother installing it. So we, we gotta do everything kind of manually, the hard way. But in case you're using HexChat and you do have the theme manager, there's some explanation on the hexchat.readthedocs.org uh, about how to use it and how to install themes and stuff like that. So let's have a look at the settings, preferences, appearance. Choose a font that you like. I chose the default the Windows Vista font. Also, if you like it a bit bigger, like that. Then, option here, color the nicknames. I want that. So, marker line, okay, transparent background, no. Then, enable timestamps. I have that disabled. If you like to see the time, leave it enabled. Input box, use the text box font and colors, yes. So nickname, user list. 
So here, check this, use the text box, font and colors. So icons, yes, color nicknames, I don't do it, you can if you want. Then so user count, leave that as well. Channel switcher, we already changed it, but over here you can modify it a bit more. But again, for me important is tabs instead of the three. Then colors, this is where we need to be. The important parts here are the local colors, because that is what you will see in your IRC client for the foreground and the background. If you want to, you can flip them around. That's what I did in YChat. Uh, for this video, I'm going to leave it as is. So the foreground is going to be black text on a white background, simply because otherwise I have to like change a lot of these colors so they actually contrast on a black background. I'm not going to do that because that's just going to take too much time. These two, 26, 27, they're a bit too close to each other, so I could make this one a bit darker. Like that, click on OK, and this is now changed. The last thing to note here is that each color has been assigned a number, and the ones important to us are 16 to 31. We will be using these in text events to color stuff that we want. So click on OK. And normally, oh, that's unfortunate. Normally now my chat would change with the new settings, but it appears I have to restart the client. But I'm not going to do that just yet. As you can see now, the usernames are now colorized, but they're not bold yet. The time has disappeared this a bit and the next thing we'll do is make sure that the names are in bold and I also want to see like I know that stoner is a uh, channel mod or operator as they are called in RC and I want I want to see that that he's actually a, a moderator so if I look here in, in uh, Y chat I can see there's an uh, at sign in front of his name and the way to modify that is to go into settings, then text events. And we have to look for some specific events, namely, I think it's called channel message. There it is. Channel message. That's what it currently looks like. If I select this here and hit enter, I will see the result as it will be displayed in uh, the chat window. And if you have a close look at the command here, you'll notice two different things. Namely, there's percentage signs and there's dollar signs. The dollar signs are explained here at the bottom. So dollar one is the nickname, dollar two is the text, three is the mode char, which is the character in front of the name in case someone is a moderator or channel operator. And then this is the actual identified text. So you can see here that's the identified text. This is the nickname. The T is the actual text. And number two, oh sorry, number two is the text. Number one is the nickname. Jesus. Yeah, it's a bit complicated. So what are these percentages? Uh, as you can see here, percentage, then followed by a C, that means a color. And 18 is the number assigned to that color. So I don't know if I can, oh yeah, I can. If I open the preferences, 18 would be blue. Then percentage age means hide whatever comes behind or after this. In this case, it's a uh, smaller than sign so it is placed in between two uh, eight characters so basically that means hide this and you see it again here hide this and then you have this one here percentage o this means uh, go back to normal text so let's say that i before that i had for instance bold i made this text bold this means go back to normal text so what follows will not be bold. And note that these are also explained on the HexChat documentation page. If you scroll down a bit over here, text events, there's a list of the uh, percentage signs that you can use. And 
first one we'll be using is the percentage B, which will make text bold, so I can make the usernames bold. So let's go back here and figure out what is the nickname is number one. So I see number one here, and I want to make that bold. So if I add a percent B to that, we will make that bold. And if I now hit enter, as you can see, this is bold because it is followed by a percent O. The text here is not bold. So only the username will be bold. Next thing that was missing is the operator sign, which is number three. And as you can see, there's no number three anywhere in here. So I'm going to add that, uh, I think, before number four, which is the uh, identified text. So let's try that dollar sign three. If I now hit enter, I now have three followed by four, one and two. And already you can see it in the chat. There's someone here, the moderator, and it now has the at sign in front of his name. Good. Now most IRC clients make a distinction between a normal channel message and your own channel message. So I've got to go down to the bottom here, it says your message, and I'm going to apply the same changes that I applied to the normal message. So if I hit enter, you can see there's no bold text and there's no uh, mode char. There's the number three is missing. So I want the number three before the number four, so dollar sign three, hit enter. And I want this bold. So I think it's like that. Let's try that. Yeah, that's it. So dollar sign three followed by percentage B before dollar sign four. And to show you what that looks like, let me switch to a channel in which I am a moderator. Uh, move that out of the way a little bit. So in here I'm a moderator, and if I type something here, I now have the at sign, my name is bold, and the normal text. So, okay, last thing I want to show you, and for that, oh, it's already yeah, you can already see it here. In an IRC client, you can set certain words to be highlighted. And let's have a look at HexChat, the preferences. Where is that? I think mm. alerts. Over here at the bottom, you have highlighted messages. So by default, your nickname will be highlighted, but you can add your own uh, words that you want to get highlighted. Uh, in my case, I'm using these, which is sort for déjà vu or uh, déjà bot, and what is used by a lot of people when they uh, refer to me. And what I like to do is, as you can see in YChat already, is that whenever someone uses one of those highlighted words, it really jumps out because I'm using a different background color and a different foreground color for the text. So let's have a look at how we achieve that. Go back into, oh sorry, wrong window, settings, text events. Make it a bit bigger. And look for channel message highlight. That's the one we need. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger so I can see the things here at the bottom, hit enter and see what it looks like. So the number one, so the nickname is already made bold, but I think the mode char is missing here as well. So I want the mode char in front of the four, so I'm going to add a dollar sign followed by three. Oh sorry, 
other side. There you are. Hit enter. Okay. That's good. Now, there's a color here. 19. And what I want to do is use two colors. First, I'm going to go back to the colors, figure out which number is 19. It's green. And that is going to be the foreground color, so the color of the text. And I want to make the background a different color, so maybe 20. So if I follow this by a comma and 20, I now have this. So I have green text on a red background. Not ideal, but you get the picture. So maybe let's try 24. You see, it's as easy as that. Maybe 25. Okay, let's go with that for now. So what I did was added a comma, then added another color value. And it's as simple as that. Okay, and I cleared both uh, chats so you can see what's going on. If I now here say something like this, as you can see in HexChat, it now gets highlighted. So it's like a light text on a darker background. So it's easy to spot when someone is referring to you. And if I switch both to this of you, You can see it's slightly different, like over here, oh sorry, over here I have both the uh, username and the text highlighted, over here I only have the text uh, highlighted, not the username. It's just a matter of how you put the um, all the commands within the uh, text event. So it's the order of over here. So it's the order, you see I color because the color is here in front, the colors are in front. It colors everything that comes after it. So if you wanted to have the username uh, to not be uh, different, you can just put another color here. So let's maybe, okay. Ah, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it, I think here. Yeah, like that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, now make this a single color. Like that. So now the username is not highlighted. But pick a different color. Let's say pick 20. There we go. So I hope it's not too confusing. But... If it is, just to remind your video a few times. And it looks like this video is already way longer than I expected. So I'll be running it up here. I will be doing a third video on how to do those moderator buttons. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. And until next time.